And then the the other game I've been playing, the game that I was playing on the flight when I wasn't playing Stupid Zombies. <laughs> so uh, was, so at one uh, point on this flight where you like, I've had enough of this game. Let me put this away and take out this right, other game. Right, exactly. Um, I had my, my little nook with me, too, and I'm like, oh, I should really finish the last 40 pages of that book that I've been reading for the last three months uh, in fits and starts. And no, I didn't do that. I, I put away Stupid Zombies, and I pulled out my PSP and played uh, God of War Ghost of Sparta, which is a God of War game. <laughs> but smaller. Not but smaller, said. but portable. <laughs> um, it's good. It's a really good God of War game. I mean, it doesn't really sort of do a hell of a lot that's new, but it's uh, it's quite impressive in its scope. There's these sort of great big vistas and, and massive levels. Um, it has sort of an, like a... It's It feels new. I'm not sure if it popped up in any of the other God of War games. I don't recall anything like this, but there's a, a segment of the game where you're sort of uh, doing like a platforming kind of thing where you're basically like Atlantis is crumbling and falling apart and you're sort of like hopping wall to wall from piece to piece of debris on the way down it reminded me a bit of um what is that game <laughs> that came out like a year ago with the woman whose hair was her bodysuit bayonetta oh yeah bayonetta um there's a segment of bayonetta <laughs> where you're hopping from piece to piece of debris or something like that uh and that reminded me of this but you're sort of uh you stick the, your little blades in the wall and you grind down them and stuff um it was kind of fun it, it they have popped that in there two or three times uh, and I, I enjoy them when they come up. Uh, but yeah, I like God of War. This is another God of War game. It's a portable one. Um, it sort of does all the right God of War things. Kratos is trying to find his brother who he believed was dead. And then kill him. Uh, and then get right. Exactly, <laughs> undoubtedly. And then it has the, the proper amount of eye gouging that I expect from a God of War game. Uh, it seems like a, a, every brutality in this game, every sort of like sort of mini boss finishing move is him jamming a knife into some poor creature's uh. eyeball and yanking it out. Um, yeah, so massive bloody trauma. Uh, no, it's a good time. I, I really played quite a bit of it. I think I played probably four or five hours of it on the flight to and back. Uh, and uh, I like it. It's good. And they, uh, I think they just recently announced that that and... This is the second God of War on PSP, right? Yes, they're, I believe they're so. They're doing a yeah, the collection other one... for PS3, I think. So really, oh, really? Cool. I think so. Um, so all you non PSP owning God of War fans can uh, can pick it up in upscaled HD or whatever. Oh, nice with trophies, undoubtedly. Of course, I'll have to play them again. God damn it! <laughs> You're gonna have to drag your PS3 onto the plane. Just when <laughs> right. you thought you were out, they drag <laughs> you back <laughs> in. 